Hey guys, welcome back! Micro Machines is one of those pretty little games that are so extremely addictive that it hurts. You just want to keep on playing it just to beat your funny opponent one more time. Let's take a look at the very first title of the Micro Machines franchise. In 1991, Codemasters thought that it would be a great idea to publish a game based on those cute little cars from the Micro Machines Toys franchise. And they hit the spot right in the middle. After the huge success on the NES, Sega Mega Drive and the Amiga, the DOS version was inevitable. It came three years later in 1994 and was only available in Europe featuring improved graphics and some awesome groovy music and sound effects. This particular version was developed by Big Red Software, the same guys that two years later made the Crazy DOS exclusive title Big Red Racing that I've already reviewed. If you missed it, just click on the rectangle shown on your screen. From the kitchen table to the children's playground, from the pool table to the bathroom, etc. etc. Micro Machines will have you discover many different tracks, each one more difficult than the other, that you'll eventually master using normal or even peculiar tiny vehicles to do so. There's race cars, helicopters, tanks, dune buggies and even boats to use, each one in their special strange and at the same time familiar environment in which you must navigate your way around obstacles such as sand castles, coffee mugs and pot plants whilst navigating jumps set up using books and the like whilst sticking to a makeshift track painted onto the floor in chalk. If, in your childhood, you used to play with toy cars around the house, you'll be awfully attracted to this game. Even today, it happens to me. Different options are available. If you play against the computer, you'll have to choose three opponents that are very different from each other, with their personal strengths and weaknesses. Nice touch! You can also play against a friend on the same computer. You and your buddy have four lives each and you will try to go as fast as you can so that your mate will be behind you and consequently ends up crossing the boundaries of the screen, losing for that matter one of his precious four lives. This makes the game more tense and exciting. Bear in mind, to win a race you need to know the course. There's no room for wimps in this game as you attempt to barge your opponents into trackside obstacles or off the track altogether and several of the courses were designed with this in mind. Controlling the different types of vehicle is extremely fun. Its handling is responsive and varies from one vehicle to the next, adding yet further longevity. It is also possible to play Micro Machines hooking up to computers using a modem through a telephone connection or even using a null modem cable. The in-game atmosphere is also extremely enjoyable, with nice music and a ton of sound effects on jumps, crossing the finish line, skidding, crashing, you name it. This game only needs one megabyte of hard disk space. If you don't have that 1 megabyte available, just play it directly from a 3.5 inch floppy disk by clicking on the executable file. It may be a small game in size, but huge on quality of gameplay and production. Micro Machines is an addictive top-down racing game that captivates your attention for hours, so be prepared. It is a wonderfully simple game with a brilliant concept that can, even today, be enjoyed by all age groups. If you enjoyed this episode of the Pixel Thing, you only have one option, subscribe.
it will be extremely appreciated and doing so, you'll be notified as soon as the next video becomes available. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next week. You just want to keep on playing it, just to beat your fuck. fucking...